Hello everyone, I'm Arkis from Sydney. Today I'll be telling you how easy it is to be mindful whilst doing a complex origami. When you're mindful, you make your models better, and it's a fun way to practice mindfulness. Here I have a piece of paper. I hope you have one too. Even before we start folding, there are instances to be mindful. We can feel the paper. You can note all the sensations you have. For example, the weight of the paper. Mine's quite light. And the size of the paper. Your paper could be a different size and weight. What are some other things you can note? You can note the texture of the paper. Is it rough or smooth? The color. Mine's green in color. The thickness. The strength of the paper. How easily does the paper rip? And lastly, the sound the paper makes when you flip it, fold it, and squash it. You might have some other sensations, so note them down as well. Now, how can you be mindful whilst folding origami? You could note down how your tense fingers move. When you fold, squash, crease, pull, push, and squeeze, twist, and flip. See? Well, the sound the paper makes when you do the things mentioned above. Can you hear it? So we'll start off with the square piece. Now, first fold, fold this corner to this corner, like this. Unfold. Now, fold this corner to this corner, like this. Unfold. Now, fold your page in half vertically, like this, to the middle, like this. Your model should look like this. It is okay if it doesn't, as we will send you a video later. Did you see how I made that crease really faint? Okay, let's keep going. Now, fold this edge to this edge, like this. Unfold. Now, fold this edge to this edge, like this. Unfold. Do the same thing to the other side. Fold this edge. Okay, now fold back on the creases, sort of like this, while squishing the tip, like this. Do that to the other side. Fold back on the creases and squish the tip. Your model should look like this. It is okay if you fall behind as you send your video later. Now, fold the bottom two corners to the middle. Like this. Okay, let's keep going. Now, fold the top tip towards the middle, towards the middle, but not exactly on the middle. So it should be sort of like here. The middle's around. The middle's here, and your the tips here. Now. Fold this edge to this edge, like this. Unfold. Now, fold this edge to this edge, like this.
unfold. Now, fold back on the creases while squishing the tip, like this. Your model should look like this. Could you please repeat that? Oh, okay. So, from here, fold this edge here to this edge, like this. Unfold. Now, fold this edge to this edge, like this. Unfold. Now, fold back on the creases, like this, while also squeezing the tip. So like this. Okay, now flip it over like this. Now pull back on this edge here like this. And this part of the edge should be in line like this. Crease it down. Should look something like this. Could you please now, repeat that? Yes. Oh, okay. So, fold this edge towards the middle, like this. This, this part of the edge should match up with here. Sort of like this. Okay. Now, fold this edge towards the middle, like this. These two edges should match up, like this. Okay, now, now, collapse, push back on this face while squeezing it together so that it makes creases that are the same height as this edge. This. Do that to the other side and then squeeze it together. It's fine if you if you fall behind because we'll be sending you a video later. So uh now it's gonna get a, a bit tricky. So okay. So let's keep going. Now fold this flap back like this. Now when you look at the back there are multiple edges. Pull the outermost edge and pull it towards this crease like this. Now, using your index finger, slowly push this, this into a cone, like this, this, yeah, sort of like this. Now, slightly press it down. So it makes a triangle, like this. Now, do that to the other side. Fold the flap back, from the back, pull it to the edge, pull it to this crease, open it up using your index finger, make it into a cone, and squish it into a tree. Your model should look like this 
on both sides. Okay, now pull this edge to this edge so that it makes a triangle like this. Now pull that triangle back. So like this. Now slightly push the push this leg forward and press down sort of like this so that it makes the leg at an angle. See? Repeat that to the other side. Bend this leg bend this leg into a triangle. Pull the leg back. Push the leg slightly forward and press. Your model should look like this. The black back legs are now done. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna work on the front legs. First, fold this tip slightly down, like this. Unfold. Now, pull the flap back. <laughs> now, crease the flap so that it's at an angle, like this. And then pull the tip down. Sort of like this. Repeat that to the other side. Pull the tip down. Unfold. Fold the flap back. Crease the flap at an angle. And fold the tip back down. Your model should be looking like this. Now, Fold the front front of the nose inside, like this. Now we're moving on to the shell. Open up the model using four of your fingers. Next fingers, slightly wrap it around the back legs, like this. Now, before you crease it down, bend, bend the, um, the point and then crease it down. Sort of like this. Finally, slightly push on the point at the end of the shell so that it becomes flat like this and you're done it's a tortoise the tortoise is special to satipasla as it represents sms or slowly mindfully silently you can make it in all sorts of colors like this Thank you.